Today I'm going to show you how to create three different looks using one palette. This is a Born to Run palette by Urban Decay and last week I talked you through these looks and now we're going to put it into practice. Let's start off with a basic neutral look. I've already prepped the lids with a little bit of concealer and we're going to start off with shade number one. Use a flat brush and apply this all over the lid, focusing on that inner corner. Taking shade number one again, we're going to apply this just underneath the brows to add a slight highlight. Now with shade number four, we're going to use a small brush and focus this on the outer third of the lid. Try to keep this just on the lid. Don't bring this up too far. And begin on the outer third and then slowly start to sweep it into about the halfway point. Try to avoid using any additional product, just blend whatever you've already applied on the outer third. This will add a soft fade. Then taking shade number three, we're going to apply this right in the crease area using a blending brush. Start on the outer edge of the eye and work this over and back. And I like to keep my eyes open so I can see the shape I'm creating. Now shade number two is our fade shade. Take a little on the brush, tap off the excess, and apply this right in the crease area. This is a very gentle sweep, just in the crease area. And this will add a slightly different tone and a softer fade. Taking shade number two again, we're going to apply this right where the dark and the light meets, right in the center of the lid. This will help to fade out our darker eyeshadow and make it look like we're really good at blending. Alternatively, you can use shade number three, but seeing as we have shade number two, we might as well use it. Finish off with your mascara and lashes, and you're good to go. Now let's try the next one. For the next look, it's a basic purple. We're gonna start off with shade number one again, completely covering the lid, just like in the basic neutral look. Then we're going to take shade number three and apply this over and back in the crease area using a blending brush. Once again, just like the basic neutral look. Then we're going to take shade number two and we're going to soften out any harsh lines and add a slightly different tone to the crease. Taking shade number four, we're going to apply this on the outer third. Keep this really close to the outer third of the lid. Unlike with the basic neutral look, we don't want to blend this in too far. Then with shade number eight, we're going to apply this over the top of shade number four on the outer third, but this time we're going to slightly sweep this in. What this will do is create two different types of tones, a deep purple moving into a more vibrant purple as it works across the lid. So it's a very similar look to the basic neutral look, but with a slightly more purple tone. Going from a dark purple fading into more vibrant. Taking shade number seven, this time using my fingertips. I'm going to tap this over everything that we've already applied on the lid, but mostly focusing on that inner corner. Try to make sure you don't touch the crease too much, particularly if you have hooded eyes. Using that same shade again, this time we're going to use a damp flat brush and really concentrate on that inner corner. By using a damp brush, we get a slightly different finish. It's going to be a bit more vibrant and really show up. Finish off with liner and lashes, and you are good to go. Now let's try the next look. The next look is a bronzy, smoky look. I prepped the lids in exactly the same way, just with a little bit of concealer. And this time we're going to start off with shade number three. Work this over and back in the crease area using your blending brush. Once again, keeping the eyes open so you can see the shape you're creating. Taking shade number two, soften out any harsh lines that might have been created with your midtone. 
feel like I'm getting kind of repetitive at this stage. Now we're going to take shade number four and apply this all over the lid. So start in the center of the lid and just sweep this all over the lid. For beginners, you might want to use a slightly smaller brush. But if you feel like you have decent control, you can use a blending brush like I'm doing here. Just make sure to keep this on the lid. Don't blend it up too far. Shade number two and three always have to be higher. Now, taking shade number six, apply this all over the top of shade number four. By layering the two different shades, you're going to get a much more intense smoky look. Now taking shade number five, apply this on the inner corner or even on the center of the lid. Just add a little bit of shine. Once you've applied this, take your clean blending brush and soften out any harsh lines. I find a good smoky eye always starts a little messy before you start to clean it up with your clean blending brush. You can also smudge a little bit of the bronze underneath, finish off with liner and lashes, and there you go, putting last week's video into practice. If you want to see the best lipsticks and blushes to work with these particular shades, check out the other video, and I'll see you in the next one.